Hello everyone, this is Panda and I have some bad news that I need to share with you. So yesterday at Penn Station at the train hall, I was in a conflict with a homeless mental health young lady that was definitely on some substances. And she was dancing next to me and a woman from West Virginia and she continued to hit us as she was dancing and she was doing it on purpose. So. I asked her to stop hitting me so I can continue to do my work and she started ranting, cursing, spit on me and then my phone was on the power hub charging. She takes my phone and slams it on the ground, breaking it but also destroying it. She also continued to hit the woman next to her and hit her in the face. Amtrak police took about 30 minutes to decide if they wanted to take action, which I thought was very unprofessional because that's destroying people's property. Not only that, uh, she hit a woman that's assault, but it seemed like the police here are so scared to touch the homeless or the mental health. And this is where New York City has to do better in services helping those with mental health situations. Now, I end up being a victim of the domestic violence. My phone got destroyed. And I took it to a repair shop at, uh, on 83rd and Barbary, the same shop that I got my iPhone X repaired. And the guy told me that this phone is completely destroyed. The battery, you do not want to charge it or try to charge it. It's not going to charge. It's destroyed. It's bent. The components are cracked inside. My screen is broken and the home button is no longer fixable. I would have to buy a new phone. So with that said everyone, I'm going to plug this up. And you can see that the phone won't even turn on. So this homeless woman doesn't have money. She doesn't have any resources to pay for this phone. But for the Amtrak police to take their time to decide what they wanted to do with her was very unprofessional. But with that said, everyone, it goes to show you that New York City doesn't have a grip when it comes down to the mental health. This could happen to anyone. But the woman that was next to her called her lawyer. She said, this is unprofessional by you police officers. You're going to uh, liberate for 30 minutes to decide what you want to do and they're trying to explain to her but not to me that these are homeless mental health people they have problems doesn't matter she's competent to know how to use a phone when she was using her phone to dance she's competent to know not to destroy someone else's phone so with that said everyone I'm reaching out to you guys today because I would need a new phone because they wasn't going to replace it they didn't feel no remorse. Yes, the police didn't feel no remorse at all. It goes to show you how many people in the city care about each other. This is why what I said in my last documentary, part one. I expect it better from New York City. Out of all the cities I have been to, I expect it better. But I was wrong. There's some good people here, but there's some people that do not want to stand up for the right reasons. And the police are that good example. So with that said, everyone, I'm reaching out to you. I'm reaching out to you because I really would like for you guys to try to help me get a new phone, a new iPhone. You guys can spare 5, 10, 15, 20 bucks. I appreciate it. My life is with the Apple ecosystem. Yes, I pay more of my bills. I got more of my contacts. I got all my apps and everything on the phone that I pay for so I'm reaching out to you guys today because I was just told by a trusty repairman that have rep repaired my phone multiple times saying that it would cost me as much as getting a new phone so it's it, it, it just useless to try to repair it and not only that he would have to order some of the, the components because he doesn't have those components in the shop so I'm screwed but with that said everyone I wanted to reach out to you guys today and see if you guys will find it in your Christmas and loving hearts 
everyone from New York City, the community, around the world. I'm the Panda Photographer. If you didn't watch my recent part one of my documentary, please do so. It really would maybe touch you or maybe see the brighter days about how I go out my day trying to survive in this city of New York City. So please, there's a PayPal, there's a Cash App, there's a Remo, there's a Gazelle. Please guys, if you guys can, if you even have an iPhone 10 or iPhone 11 that I can use that you are not using at home, it really would help me. Please. But with that said, everyone, I've been a victim of domestic violence and a hate crime, basically. And the police took their time to resolve it. And not only that, they didn't want to talk to me. But they took my phone as evidence last night for like an hour. Take the pictures and videos as much as you want. But it doesn't, doesn't matter at this time. It goes to show you that you guys are also scared of people that are with mental health. The police are supposed to be the ones that's supposed to protect those that are being harmed. And it seems like they don't want to do their job. So with that said, everyone, I'm the panda photographer, and it happened again. Trying to do what I do best. Add part two to my documentary so you guys can see more of what is taking place here. But now, this could be part two but this could be a special edition why New York City needs to work on the mental health crisis and it needs more programs, more facilities and they need more shelters for these men and women because being homeless takes away your dignity sometimes people lose reality, they lose grip and I'm telling the homeless hear me out don't lose hope don't lose the grip that you already have. Don't lose that laughter you once had before because it's still there. Don't give up because you, other people want you to give up. So with that said, everyone, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for reaching out. Like I said, you got it in your Christmas heart to spare a few dollars, 10, 20, 50, 100 dollars. Or if you have an iPhone laying around, please. I would love your support. But with that said, everyone, you guys take care. Happy shooting.